Welcome Wild Ones, Indigo Brothers and Sisters. I'm going to um, talk today about immortality and um, blood magic, the blood magic, blood over intent community and how there's a belief that if they um, do this blood magic that um, if they go to the centre dish to some mythical probably fictitious place called the Holy Grail they will get eternal immortal life um, I'm just going to uh, tell you my perspective on that um, and that is you already have eternal immortal life you already are immortal you don't have to number one you don't have to do blood magic to become immortal and you don't have to do a trip to the North Pole to find some Holy Grail to become immortal. The reason you're already immortal is because you are light. You are actually a light being. Your true essence is light so um, it's hard to explain to people that have never had a crown chakra burst but I think a lot of people who have had a near-death experience know what I'm saying they'll understand what I'm saying here they can relate to it because they've seen the light um, when, when, when you have a near-death experience or when you die, you, you will go through the light, you will see the light and you will probably go through a stargate because you are light. And when you uh, reach enlightenment, meaning high states of consciousness, some people will take that ayahuasca herb, um, other people take DMT, other people just go on fast and um, purify their body to a, a point where it's so pure that if they can see the light, the light will switch on in the head. Um, that's what happened to me on a water fast and um, fruit and green juice fast. And urotherapy, um, I saw, I witnessed the light. I've already seen my own light. This is why I know this is true. And reincarnation also is true. Um, it's not someone's imagination. This is ancient knowledge that has been passed down through the ages. And um, a lot of it is actually true um, and when you have these experiences you will see that it's true so because you're like you're an orb like when they they see ghosts and you see orbs and you have hauntings that's actually the light that's the spirit that you that's what the orb is it's the light um, and that's part of your life force. Our bodies are just vehicles for the soul, which is the light. So your light will just be passed into another source. So you could come back as another person if you died as an old man, your light could then 
pass on to a a child you'd, you'd be born again in as a child a newborn baby within minutes of dying this is possible and there have been many documented facts and testimonies about children who have memories of past lives that the child of that age couldn't possibly know so where are they getting it from that's why it's important in this life to respect all life because we are all one and you don't know what you're going to come back as to be quite honest you could be come back as a bird you could come back as a bee you could come back as a worm you could come back as the grass so this is where like Buddha and the monks had it right they understood this and that's why they had the utmost respect for all life and they understood that we are all one you are me I am you and so your your enemy is your dark side if you if you can relate to that now it's hard to understand that everything is positive and dark light and dark so you have to kind of embrace the good with the bad but live life with respect as much respect as you can have um, it's really important because if what I'm saying is true it will affect uh, your next life and the life after that so that's why uh, people um, might go vegetarian or vegan when they have a spiritual awakening because they understand that all life is precious and uh, we have to respect everything in this life as much as we can obviously we're not perfect um, you might you know kill a fly stand on an ant but it's where are your intentions it's keeping them good having good intentions that's what's important so I hope that kind of helps enlighten you and don't take my word for anything do your own research come to your own conclusions but that is just my perspective on this and this is what I've learnt from my spiritual awakening and experiences this is the conclusion I've come to and yeah so I look at like all animals now like they're my friends because I see I can see their souls so that makes it even harder for me to even be a part of wanting to uh, kill them and eat them actually um, but when you when you open up your pineal gland this is what will happen and you will start to see the light and you will suddenly realize that we are in fact all one so there's no point fighting with your enemy because um, you're kind of like just fighting with yourself actually um, you just have to respect and see the other side for what it is and let it go okay bye for now i'm just uh, at the corner shop again picking up my son from school it's the only time i've got at the moment to do some videos and have a good talk about stuff that's on my mind so thank you for joining me 
and uh, don't forget to subscribe and support my channel much love stay wild stay healthy and have fun bye for now